good morning. Pardon the lighting. I'm in my garage. <laughs> I'm heading to the barn. I don't know if I'll get any footage out of this. I'll try. I'm riding a new horse today. Ugh, hold on. There we go. That's better. I'm riding a new horse today. Well, I've been riding a new horse and I just wanted to put this out there real quick. Um, I normally ride a horse named Keebler. Um, all the horses that I ride are lesson horses. Um, however, the girl who rides Jack went away to college, so Jack needs some extra attention. And my trainer feels that I'm at a place where I need to be riding different horses to get better skills because you learn different things from different horses because every horse has a different set of needs and it's always good to be, it makes you a better well-rounded rider. Whereas if you ride the same horse, you kind of get only a certain set of skills. So Jack is challenging. He's very hard to ride for me. Jack is a good horse. Jack is a terrific horse. I just, I'm learning and I'm scared because he's spooked a few times that I've ridden. So I'm always on guard, but I'm trying to learn what I need to do to work better with Jack. So everything that happens on the horse is usually something I do. So I have to learn how to work through all this stuff because when, when something happens on the horse, more than likely it's the rider, not the horse. So when Jack does certain things, I have to figure out what it is I'm doing to not have Jack do what he does. So when Jack like throws his neck back, I have, which is scary sometimes when he throws his neck or paws the ground, he's a 1700 pound animal. It's, it's scary. I have to figure out what I'm doing wrong so that he won't do these things. <laughs> so that's what I'm working through. I'm getting more confident. I'm hoping this ride will be good. Let's cross my fingers. And um, so let's go to the barn and see Jack, shall we? Hey, Jack, I'm coming. What's up? What's up, Jack? What's going on? Huh? What's going on? What's going on? Huh? Oh, you want to give laps? You want to give laps? Give laps. I love it. Who's out there? She's not focusing. Oh, she's not focusing. I know. I know you're all dirty. You got that dirty face. Who's with the dirty face, huh? Who's your dirty face? Huh? Who's your dirty face? Oh no. Oh no. This won't do. This won't do. Good boy, boy. Come on. Back up. So here I'm just brushing him and I figured out how to get him in frame um, by just throwing a bit of hay into his stall and I'm literally like chuckling at myself going, why didn't I think of that sooner? Hello? <laughs> so anyways, I'm just brushing him. Um, we had a very successful hoof picking as you'll hear me being like, good boy, good boy, because um, the past few weeks, he, he would not let me clean his feet out, which I have to clean their feet out. Like it's, it's mandatory and he would not let me. And I figured out how to hold his feet to where he doesn't just like take the foot and just drop it back down. And like I said, he's 1700 pounds. So if he's going to put his foot down, I'm not winning that argument. <laughs> so I was really excited that I actually got to clean his feet without him like just fighting me the whole time. But yeah. Did you just get all dirty? Did you get all dirty you are? You so dirty. What you do? What you do? Oh, you so sassy. Are you so sassy today? My sassy boy.
think every writer has that moment where they think to themselves, am I crazy for doing this? Now, Jack is big. He's a big horse. But let me tell you something. Smaller does not mean safer. Trust me. Ponies are insane. Smaller is not safer. But there just is this moment where you're like, am I crazy? <laughs> and that was the moment I was having. And I'm like looking at the camera, I want to say it, but I don't know. I'm just conveying it to Jack more. And I'm like, Jack, am I crazy? And I feel like in that moment, Jack kind of relayed a message back to me. Now, nah, girl, I got you. <laughs> this is going to be good. This is going to be a good ride. And it was. It was a good ride. So, no. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Do 
worst. <laughs> Good boy. So here, I realize the stirrups were incredibly crooked. And you can hear me saying, what? Who, who rode you? I don't know who rode Jack Pryor, but one stirrup was extremely higher than the other. And they were both longer. When I initially started adjusting the stirrups, I was like, whoa, whoever rode Jack was taller than me, which is, is odd because I'm 5'7". I'm pretty tall compared to the other girls there. And I was just kind of caught off guard. And then when I went around to the other side, I saw that this, the other stirrup was just completely crooked. I was like, who, who wrote you? Like, these aren't even. I mean, I got it even then, but I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so you hear me going, what? <laughs> and that's what that was about. The stirrups were crooked. Holy mother of God. I usually have. doing what are you doing what's going on you so sassy you so sassy go get it be free <laughs> be free you silly you silly go come on Hey, what are you doing? Being sassy? Huh? Hi. Whoop, try not to fall. <laughs> what? Who's so dirty over there? Who's that dirty horsey? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love you too. Love you too. He's a good. You ready to go? What are we missing? <laughs> Bridal? Probably. Butters! Hey, buddy. <laughs> Is this yours? It's yours. All right. It's not Sally's. Sally, it's not yours. Carry on, girl. Go this way. Where are we going? Where are we going? 
No, no snacky. I know you because I I'm working with extra. Hi, go look straight ahead. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. I know. I know. I know. All right, I gotta stop because there's other horses out here and you say hey, once again, I didn't film any outro. Um, so Jack and I had a really good ride. It was the best ride I'd had on him since I've been riding him for about, I think I've been riding him for about a month now. And I feel like we can start cantering and stuff. Like I feel very, com I feel a lot more reassured on him than I did previously. Like I think the first time I rode him, I was, I was scared to even trot, honestly. Um, but I've been working through it and I've been working to understand like what things he's doing when he does things, what that means and how to translate it. Like when he throws his neck back, I got to give him more leg. I worked on that this week and it was actually pretty successful. Like anytime he started throwing his neck back, I just took a deep breath and he squeezed on my legs and he would stop. And I was like, oh, okay. Hey, this is working. I get it. Um, and I didn't film anything else because there, there was some drama um, over the weekend at the barn. Nothing terrible, just, you know, when there's a group of people, stuff goes, stuff happens. You know, when you get a group of people together, things can happen and tensions can be high. And I left the barn and I was like, oh shit, I was filming a vlog. But I actually got some good footage because I was the only person in the barn when I was tacking up Jack. So I had the barn all to myself. So that's why I moved the camera out because I was like, it's not going to disturb anybody. And um, it's not something I would normally do just because I don't feel comfortable putting other people on camera. I know I could ask them, but that involves me explaining why. <laughs> so I'm not quite there yet. So... I had, I had the opportunity to, the opportunity presented itself. I was like, hey, there's no one here. That's just typical barn. Um, I would have to have someone video me riding because I can't video myself. And when I'm working with a new horse, there's like no way I want to even, it's not even on my mind to take my camera out and film because there's a lot of safety concerns. Like I was filming us walking out, but then I put my camera away when I started getting closer because if something was to happen, I don't, I need to have both hands. I need to be focused. When I ride, I'm dealing with a 1700 pound animal and I need to pay attention, so to speak. So while it's great content, I still have to consider my safety, the horse's safety, and anyone else around me, their safety as well, um, because horses are unpredictable and anything can happen and it's a dangerous sport and I need to be completely focused. So it would be a different story if it was my own horse, but it's a lesson horse. So it's, it's kind of dicey, like I would just need someone there to film like I'm not gonna ask my trainer to film like I'm paying her to teach me how to ride you know what I mean like it, it's just that's why it's hard for me to get footage so I mean I hope this suffices it's I see other barn footage and I feel like oh my god mine sucks mine's terrible but I don't know I guess it's better than nothing right <laughs> so it's not perfect. I would, I wish I could give you guys more, but at this point in time, it's, it's, it's hard to do. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyways, I just hope everyone has a great night and, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll try to, I, I'm going to have to, cons you know, I, I want to consider how to, 
maybe put out, get more footage for you guys, but that would involve a second person, honestly. So I don't know, maybe I can get a friend to tag along sometime and get footage for me. So till then, we'll see ya. Okay, bye.